Hello everyone, today we're going to be playing some coding games and programming challenges in Python on pycheckio.org. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. So go ahead and click on that link and make an account and let's get started. So we're going to start here at home. As you can see, there's many different places that you can visit, but they're all locked. And we're going to try to get to as many of them as we can. So we'll start here at initiation. You should create a profile so you can save your progress. Again, I already have a profile and I have my progress saved. But here I want to show you how to solve these problems. Now, I'm not going to give you the answers. I'm just going to help you. And also, there's a tiny bit of Python knowledge that you need in order to solve these problems. If you have absolutely no knowledge in Python, I suggest you check in the description below. There's a link for a beginner programming challenge for you for you to learn um, after you've completed that you can come here and you can try to do these challenges but again these challenges are a little bit challenging so there's a tiny bit of knowledge that you need so again there's a link in the description for another one of my videos that will help you learn Python so let's get started so the first one multiply let's click on this okay so read through all of this okay so basically we want to write a function where it takes two numbers it multiplies them and it gives me the answer okay so notice over here two times three is six one times two is zero so let's try to solve it <clears throat> so here uh, you would this is where exactly where you would write your code you can uh, you can write over it or you can you can compare do it here remember this hashtag is uh, or number sign this ignores all the code so you can leave it or you can delete it sometimes I leave it which is fine so let's look at functions open up my shell so f what I'll do I'll define a function that will add two numbers instead of multiply so you're gonna try to figure out how to multiply so define add numbers and we need to give it two arguments because those are the both those are both of the numbers that we're going to add together and in the in this uh, function <clears throat> we wanted to return something so what do we want to return we want a plus b right so a plus b a plus b okay and that's it <clears throat> so we're going to call add number I should have called it numbers and we're gonna give it two numbers <clears throat> we'll give it 9 and 12 and it worked 9 plus 12 is 21 let's do another one just to check Add number let's try one and one excellent so here we want it to multiply so edit this code in order to give it uh, in order to give you the multi the the product of the two numbers okay um, so I already figured that out on my account let's go to, to the next one first word okay so in this one we want to define a function where where we put in a string it's only gonna give us the first one okay so I'm gonna create an object I'll call it string and I'll say hello nice to meet you now remember I want to take the first word of the string so I want to be able to pull hello now I'm not gonna be able to index it because watch if I hit string and I try to call let's say zero notice it won't give me hello it'll give me the first letter it'll give me H and I don't want the first letter I want the first word now I can't if I call if I say string well actually no so anyway so we're gonna have to split we're gonna have to split all of these in the the space by the spaces over here what you see here okay so Python has a built-in method we'll say string dot split and here, since I didn't put anything here, I'm saying that I want to, I want to split it by the spaces. So if I hit that, 
Notice he'll give me hello, nice to meet you. Now if I say string dot split and I oops and let's say what what letter can I put there? I could put E. So if I sp split it at the E's, remember this has to be a string. It'll split it at the E's. H and notice the E is gone here. Okay. But again, I don't want to split it at the E's. I want to split it at the spaces. So let's do that again. String dot split. So now, now I can call a, I can call the, the words by their index. So for example, string dot split. Um, and then let's say I want the fourth. Okay, it'll give me the last one, u. Okay, so now I want to define a function that's called first word, and what what will it return? It's going to return um, the first the first word. So remember, with the split method, you're gonna split them up, and then you're gonna return the first word. Okay. Hopefully you will get the answer. Okay. So let's do the second one. Okay, acceptable password. So we're going to define a function where um, the length of the password has to be six. Uh, uh, has to be bigger than six characters. So notice over here, S H O R T one two three four five. Th th that's five characters. That's less than six. So it's going to return false. Okay, and much longer. That's more than much more than six. So let's see how we're going to figure this one out. So here, so let's define is acceptable password. And we want to give it a uh, argument password. Okay. So we, we want it to be less I'm sorry more than six so we're gonna write if password now how do we get the length of a string let's go to um, let's go to the show so let's say X equals hello okay so if I write len X I get back five. So again, Python has a built-in function called len, and it'll give you back the length. So notice the length of the of the object x is hello, which is five. So let's go back to the file. So we want to get the length of that password. Len. So if len, so we want it to be bigger than six. What do we want to return? Now remember, we need to if if it's greater than six, we need to return true. So here we would return true. <clears throat> but remember, if it's not greater than six, we would have to write an else statement. So if the length of the password is greater than six, we're gonna return true. And then we have to write an else statement and then we have to return false. Okay? So you're going to fill that code in. Okay. So here you would start you would start your 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 statement, right? So we'll write if and then the length of the password and then you should be able to fill in everything else from there. Okay? So, let's go to the next one. Let's go to backwards string. Now we're not we're not going to do every single one here. We're going to do a few of them, and I'm not going to do them in order. I'm going to leave you to do uh, some of the rest of them. So let's go to backward string. Okay, so we want it. We want to write a function that's called backward string, and we want to take a string and then we want it to return it reverse. So how do we do that? So let's look at this here. Let's go to the show. Okay, I created an object and I have a string that has every letter in the alphabet. And I'm going to show you, uh, we looked at indexing before. I'm going to show you slicing now. 
So, let's say I only want to take a few of these letters. Let's say I want to take from C to F. So I'm going to start off at the index C, right? So this would be 0, 1, 2. So we'll start at 2, and we want it to F, right? So that's 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll stop at 5. So we'll write colon 5. And here we'll get CD. Oh, I'm sorry. So remember, if we write five, it won't include number five. So let's go back here. Uh, C, uh, two, three, four, five. So we want to include five. So we'll write A, two, six, and it should give me C, D, E, F. Now, what if I want to, um, Let's say I don't want C, D, E, F. Let's say I want to start off with A and I want every other letter. I want A and then C and then E. So how would we do that? So we would write A. So we would index. We would start it off at the first one. Actually, here, let's start it off at, let's start it off at B. Okay. We want to go to the end. So we'll leave that blank. And then we want to go in steps of two. So notice it gave me B, D, F, H, and it and it skipped every uh, other letter. B, D, F, H, J. Okay. Uh, let's let's do another one. A. Okay. So well, again, we'll start off at B again, um, and then we'll end it. Let's say we'll end it at, I don't know, 8. And then, again, we'll go in steps of 2. Okay? So what does this mean? This is the, the, def this is the syntax. We, this is the start, this is the stop, and this is the step. So I want to take this string, and I want to make it backwards. I want to go from Z all the way to A. So how would I make that backwards? So... This is how you do it. Negative, negative one. So remember, the syntax is start, stop, oops, start, and then stop, and this is the step. So we're starting at the beginning, and we're going to the very end, and we're, go and we're going uh, negative one, so we're going backwards, okay? So we're starting off at Z, and then we're starting to go backwards here. So here you go. So this is how you would return a string backwards. And then once you fill in your code, you run your code, check your solution. Let's go on to the next one. All upper. OK, so we're going to write a function to check if all of the all of the text is is uppercase so notice all of the text here is uppercase is true and notice this is all lowercase and this would be false so how would we do that let's open a new file okay so um, actually we could do it in the shell okay so let's say let's let's create a, a, a string and we'll say again we'll say hi we'll say Hello, how are you doing? Okay. So here's our string. Now, uh, Python has a built-in method that makes all of the letters uh, capitalized. Okay. Oh, title. Yeah, title. Okay. The first letter of each word is capitalized. So we want to write a function to check if everything is capitalized. So how do we do that? So here we're going to write a Boolean to check to see if this is uppercase. So again, we'll do this again. We'll say string. OK. And we'll say string. dot upper so I'm asking 
is the string all uppercase? And they say, no, it's not. Let's see. I'm going to ask, is the string all lowercase? True. Okay. So use this as a clue to write your Boolean statement. If the string is uh, uppercase, then we will want to return true. If it's not uppercase, we would return false. Okay. So let's look at this one. I would like you to try this one. Try this one on your own, correct sentence. And this one has hints. Try your best on this uh, on these. Um, and try to do as many here as you can. Okay. Uh, so that'll be it for now. So hopefully I will see you on the next video. Have fun trying to figure out all these problems. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.